Today, the S&P 500, a benchmark index for the U.S. stock exchange, closed on a record high. But even for Americans who don't own stocks, which is most of the country, the U.S. economy is very healthy. Unemployment is at its lowest level since 2022. Inflation is now coming down to 3.4 percent from a high of 9.1 percent in June of 2022. Wages grew last month by 5.2 percent. Gas averages $3.08 a gallon. But despite all that, many people, especially young people, especially young people on TikTok, have been feeling like the economy is giving recession. Data be damned, the vibes have just been off. They have been saying we are in a vibe session. Until maybe now. The University of Michigan Survey of Consumers shows a reading of 78.8 this month, its highest level since July of 2021. Does this mean the good vibes are back? If so, someone call the White House. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. Today I learned the consumer sentiment, and you guys saw it, surged by 29% in the last two months, the biggest two month jump in 30 years. We got more to do. Back with me to talk about all this is Robert Gibbs. Robert, I, you know, I thought about the um, early part stage of the Obama administration, which you're well familiar with, when, you know, there was a constant sort of attempt to tell the American public, look, the, eco the economy is going to rebound. We're going to be in turnaround. And then we are in turnaround. But it is very difficult to convince people of something using data unless they have emotional buy-in. And I wonder what lessons, if any, you think there are for the Biden administration in all this, seeing as we do, we do seem, do, things are getting better and people are seemingly beginning to feel better about them. Yeah, look, it feels very analogous to 2009 and 2010, and even running into the re-election campaign in the early 2011. And, and I learned then, and I think the Biden administration is learning now, you can't get people to feel something and buy into something that they aren't feeling. And you can, you can have all the numbers in the world, and every one of those numbers that you put up shows progress in the right direction. Uh, but this news today is huge. We haven't seen a jump like this in consumer uh, positive consumer sentiment since before Bill Clinton was elected president. So it's been a long time. This is a real shot in the arm or potential shot in the arm for the reelection campaign, because I think what's most troubling when you look at a poll and people are asked, was the economy better under Trump or Biden? Trump Trump wins that question by a fairly sizable margin. And I'm hoping that as the months get closer to election and people begin to feel more and more like they are feeling in the last two months, that that number will close significantly.